friends welcome to my channel video we are going to solve a new problem that is the diameter of a copper sphere is 6 cm the sphere is melted and drawn into a long wire of uniform circular cross section if the length of the wire is 36 cm then its radius is so here they have uh, there is a sphere copper sphere which is melted into a cross section uh, uh, circular cross section which is nothing but the circular cylinder so they have given this uh, radius of the sphere diameter of the sphere and they have given the length of the cylinder so we have to find the radius of the cylinder so let us solve it first let us write the given values given that diameter is equals to 6 centimeters if diameter is 6 centimeters from that we can find the radius that is radius is equals to d by 2 that is nothing but 6 by 2 we get 3 so radius we know that that is 3 centimeters then the length of the pipe length that is nothing but height height it is given that 36 centimeters so what we have to do is they have given two, two solid shapes that is sphere is melted into a cylinder. So we have to equate the volume of the sphere with volume of cylinder. From that we can find the value of radius of this cylinder. So let us start equating. So volume 1 is equals to volume 2 which is nothing but volume 1 indicates the volume of sphere and volume 2 indicates the volume of the cylinder. So let us write the formulas of this volume 1 that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. This is volume of sphere equated with volume 2 that is nothing but cylinder, circular cylinder. That will be pi r square h. And here radiuses are different. So let us keep this sphere radius are r1 cube and uh, cylinder radius is r2 cube, r2 square. So let us write the values that is 4 by 3 into pi value we know that it is 20 by, uh, 22 by 7 and then r1 value we know that that is 3 so it as it is cube it will be writing 3 and here we know the pi value that is 22 by 7 and we have to find this value r2 square and then height value we know that is 36 so here what can we cancel is this pi and this pi gets cancelled as they are equated we can cancel in both the sides and then in here in LHS we can cancel this 3 and this 3 and what will be remaining after a few cancellations it will be 4 into 3 into 3 equal to r2 square into 36. This is what is remained and now we are going to cancel this also by 4 and 36 gets cancelled with 9 and this here 3 into 3 9 and r square here also 9. So this 9 and this can gets cancelled. Then what will be remaining in the LHS? 1 will be remaining in LHS. And we get 1 is equals to R2 R square. So we, we get R2 value. R2 whole square value is 1. Then R2 value will be square root of 1 right. Then a square root of 1 is obviously the 1. So R2 value will be 1. That is nothing but the radius of the circular cross section will be 1. So we can conclude that the radius of the circular cross section is 1. That's it. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.